It's 47, weather and traffic on the sevens. We remain under an ABC7 first alert. Our forecast looks a lot like what we saw yesterday. Comfortable to start out. Lots of sunshine throughout the afternoon, but there's just enough moisture in place for us to see, of course, coupled with the daytime heating, to see a few thunderstorms develop throughout the afternoon. Over the past six hours, though, not very promising for us here in El Paso and Las Cruces. Dale City, Sierra Blanca, only accumulating light rainfall. Looks like the big winner was Ruidoso, picking up about a third from those storms last night. But the further east you go around Pecos, close to an inch of rainfall, and we have been dry. El Paso, our drought monitor indicating the yellow that we're seeing all across the region, dry conditions. But the further east you go and north, it becomes extreme and even severe. So thankfully, the rain that we accumulated in the beginning of the year has kind of helped us in terms of our rainfall totals. But here's our water vapor map. Does show dry air to our west and moisture to our east. So again, that moisture is really gonna help us this afternoon. Also wanna get you up to speed on the Saharan dust storm that I've been following since this weekend. It actually began traveling across the Atlantic Ocean last week, continued over the Caribbean Sea. It is now moving westward and could reach the Gulf Coast Coast by this week. So areas like Florida, Cuba, and the eastern United States will experience the thick cloud possibly this weekend. But as we take you in a little bit tighter here, El Paso, Las Cruces, we're just seeing clear conditions out there. Not dealing with the dust right now. Future Track computer model shows 7 o'clock. We're in the clear. Lunchtime, lots of sunshine. And I don't really think we'll start to see the storms develop even around the Gila region until 5 o'clock. Silver City and dimming with some isolated storms popping up late this afternoon and this evening. You can see around 7 o'clock, Anthony Chaparral, Santa Teresa, and even Fort Bliss. I think we could see some rainfall and if nothing else, outflow wind. So just be mindful of that. By 10 o'clock, this model shows it drying out but of course, our chief meteorologist Doppler Dave will be here to track that for you during ABC 7 at 10 and of course our later newscast. 20% chance for showers today, tonight and rest of the week I think will dry out. The next week our weather pattern will shift. Slight chance for rain. We're in store for a bit of a cool down, but don't worry. Temperatures will heat right back up. So for today, we're at 97 degrees, 100 degrees Thursday, Friday. So the heat is on through the weekend. Then there's that change. Monday, 95 degrees, 97 on Tuesday. So far, we are only looking at a 10% chance for